for this recording, we are going to find the parametric and vector equation of a line L1 that passes through the point 2 minus 1, 1 and parallel to another line L2 given by 4 minus t, 1 plus 2t, and 3t. First, let's recall what is the equation of a line. According to Howard Renton's section 12.5, lines can be determined by a point P0 and a direction V, ABC. Then, the parametric equation of a line is given by x equals x0 plus at, y equals y0 plus bt, z equals z0 plus ct, where abc is the vector v, determining the direction of the line, and x0, y0, z0 is a fixed point on the line. You can write them in vector form, that means r equals r0 plus tv, where r denote the position vector of a point on the line, r0 denote the fixed point, position of fixed point on the line, and v, a, b, c denote the direction vector of the line. So let's go back to our problem in part A. We are given line L1 pass through the point 2, minus 1, 1, and parallel to line L2. Now let's examine what is L2 first. L2 is given by 4 minus t, 1 plus 2t, and 3t. We can separate them as 4, 1, 0, plus minus t, 2t, 3t. And we factor out the t, we get 4, 1, 0, plus t times minus 1, 2, 3. This means the direction of L2 is v, which is minus 1, 2, 3. Since L1 passed through the point 2 minus 1, 1, so now the L1 is a line, passed through the point 2 minus 1, 1, and this is what we call a P0 here, and the direction of the line V is parallel to L2. From our earlier part of calculation, the direction of V is minus 1, 2, 3. So the parametric equation of the line is x equal to 2 plus minus 1 times t, y equal to minus 1 plus 2 times t, and z equal to 1 plus 3 times t. And I'm going to highlight them to you, the way are this thing form 2 minus 1 and 1, and the direction are given by minus 1, 2, and 3. And it's called the parametric equation of L1. There's also a vector equation you need to find will be x, y, z equal to 2 minus 1, 1 plus t times minus 1. Three. Next, we are going to answer part B and C. Write down the condition when the line L1 intersect the xy plane and find where the line L1 intersect the xy plane. Earlier, we will find that parametric equation of L1, which is given by x equal to 2 minus t, y equal to minus 1 plus 2t, z equal to 1 plus 3t. Now, this line is an infinite line, so it may intersect any of the plane. For example, when it intersect with xy plane, we know that everything on the xy plane, the z coordinate must be 0. So you know that the z coordinate is 0 here. 
So in order to find when the line L1 intersect the XY plane, you set Z equals 0. And we know that equation of the line L1 is Z equal 1 plus 3T. So we get 1 plus 3t equals 0, and then you get t equal to minus 1 third. Similarly, you can also find when the line intersect the yz plane by setting x equals 0, and when the line intersect the xz plane by setting y equals 0. So x equal to 2 minus t, which is 2 minus minus one third which will be seven over three and y minus one plus two t which is equal to minus one plus two minus one third which is minus five over three so the point where they intersect the x y plane this point is x equal to seven over three y equal to minus 5 over 3 and z equal to 0.